there's a huge component that is the environment where you live, right? Affecting your health and, and what the type of phenotypes or characteristics that you're going to have, right? And um, among them, the gut microbiome appear as, as a really important one because we are inhabited by millions of, of organisms. Like most of the nutrients are going to reach microbes and the, the microbes are going to digest them and they're going to produce different products that are going to go into our blood and interact with our cells. The microbes themselves are going to be interacting with the, uh, the immune system. So it became apparent that the part of this, we call it the missing heritability problem that is like, the amount of variability that we cannot explain just from genetics could be actually attributed for to to gut. So that's a bit how how it came to be that that a lot of research from genetics also focus on on the macros that live within us. Also because your genome is really difficult to change. If you have a predisposition for a particular disease, your gut microbiome is something that changes during your life and that is really easy to actually target, right? So you change your diet and probably your microbes are gonna change. So, and there is a lot of interest in, in if these microbes are actually related with the development of diseases, we can make interventions or target those microbes or the, the possibility of developing disease.